Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So, in previous video, we saw git cherry pick, where we merge specific commit to any other branch of directory, right? So now, in this session, we will see some reverse operations. So while working with git, in certain situation, we want to undo changes in working <coughs> working directory or, or some Sometimes you want to remove commit locally or remotely. So let's start the session. Now here in my test1.txt file, here I want to do some changes. So I'll do, let me remove this sentence here. So I will just save it and close the file. And now here, what if I want to revert those changes that I made. Let's go to our terminal or git base. So here, if I say git status, you can see it is saying that this file has been modified and it is untracked file. So now we want to revert that changes, right? So for revert, here I will say git check out and then file name so which is test1.txt so now if i say git status you can see there is nothing to now commit and working tree is clean now let's see another command so here in test1.txt you can see Again, I will do some changes, save it and again in my terminal, here let's add this file to staging area. Now if I say git status, you can see we have added our file to staging area, right? So now what if we want to get back our file from staging area. So now I will say git reset and then our file name or we can say dot. So this will remove the file that we mentioned in the command from the staging area. Okay. So again, if I say git status, you can see again, it's saying this is it is untracked file so it means we have successfully gotten back our file so if you want to just remove the specific files from the staging area then you can use this command don't worry i will show you all the commands in the last part also so now let's again add this file to staging area now I will commit the changes so I will say now git commit minus m and the comment message so here I will say latest commit now again we want to remove this operation this commit operation okay so before removing or reverting let's say git log here so Let's see the history. You can see here, this is the latest commit that we did and the commit message is latest commit. So now let's use git reset. So let's see how to use. So here I will say git reset head and then tilde symbol and here I will say one. So it means it's going to remove the latest commit that we did and also it's going to do unstage the changes by default. So you can say it default mode or mixed mode of this recent command. So if I do git log now, we will not see our commit that we did and if I say git status again it's saying 
test one txt file is unread. Now, this time, let's push these changes into our remote repository. So again, I will add this. Now again, I will do commit with uh, same message. And now, let's push changes to remote repository. So here, I will say git push origin and then master. So this commit is now pushed to our remote repository. Now I want to undo this commit. So here we have an option is we can do reset. But the problem is if we do reset, this entry will only remove from the local repository, not from remote one. So if we remove this, remove this only from local and then we try to push, then we will get a conflict issue. Uh, and so that's why we cannot use git res reset here in this concept context. So what is the best option for this? So the best option for this situation is git revert. Using revert, you can undo changes in any commit. It's not like reset where we can only remove the recent first or two commits. Using revert, you can do changes in any commit. Oh, and I will not actually remove that commit. Instead, it under staging part of that commit and it makes some new commit. Let's see that. Here, let me do git log first. And here, I will copy this latest commit ID that we did recently, right? Now, here, if I say git revert and then our commit ID, paste it. So, it's making a new commit. It's undoing all the changes part of that commit and it's making a fresh commit. Now, here, if I say git log, you can see there are new commits has added. So now, if I go to my test1.txt, here, you can see our file is back at the same stage from where we started, right? We have removed this sentence and then we have pushed the changes to remote repository and then we revert these changes, okay? So now let's see all the commands in short. So our first command is git checkout and then the file name. So using this command, we can undo those changes which have not been pushed yet, right? Now, so now our next command is git reset head and then file name. So this command is used to get back changes from staging area. So if you add your changes to staging area and now you want to get back, so you have to use this command. Next is git reset head tilde sign and then one or two or three. So keep in mind by using this command, you can remove only those commits which are recently added. We cannot remove specific commit by using commit id as revert, right? And using recent, we can only remove commit locally, okay? Now, this recent command have three modes, soft, mixed, and hard. If we use soft reset command, it will only remove the recent commit it will it will not remove the changes from staging area and the command for soft reset is git reset hyphen hyphen soft and then head tilde sign and one or two or three so mix reset command if you want to remove commit locally and also you want to remove changes from staging area you can use this mode of reset. It is the default mode of reset command. So the command is git reset 
hyphen hyphen mix or it's okay if you don't mention the mode because it is default mode of reset command and then head tilt sign and one or two or three now if we talk about hard it is used when you want to remove commit locally and also you want to remove the changes from staging area and also from local working directory so in short it is mixture of three commands git checkout which is used to remove changes from working directory plus git reset head file name which is used to changes from which is used to remove changes from staging area plus git reset head tilde which is used to remove remove recent commit locally so this is what git reset hard and command is git reset hyphen hyphen hard head tilde sign and one or two or three right so this is the three modes of the git reset now next is git revert git revert is used to revert all the changes that did on specific commit using git revert we can specify commit id then it will revert that changes it will not remove commit that we did before it will not affect to our commit history and command for git reverse is git revert and then commit id simple right so that's it for this video guys i hope you all guys are now clear with this hope you enjoying this series if you have any doubt or any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye and have a nice day